And speaking of national interest, the Assistant Public Relations Officer of the Gambia Immigration Department, Inspector Ba, uh, set light on new measures of Operation Zero Departure aimed at tackling illegal migration. And we have him right here in our studios. Inspector, you're welcome. Thank you very much um, for having me um, for this interview. Um, for right now, uh, we are sending our deepest condolences to the families that have lost their loved ones in this irregular migration. Uh, thank, thank you very much. much. Inspector, uh, could you provide us um, insight into the uh, factors that prompted the Gambia Immigration Department um, to launch Operation um, Zero uh, Departure? Uh, what specific challenges or incidents led to the decision to intensify actions against um, irregular migration along the country coastline? Yes, um, the events that have unfolded uh, befalled our country, um, that is the tragedies in, at sea. Uh, particularly the Bacau incident, where we have lost almost 21 of our youths in a particular boat. Um, there and then we have information that all the boats went missing and still uh, unfounded. So this um, information has taken us so much, despite our efforts earlier, to make sure that you know we put a halt to this irregular migration. We see to it that it is very important we intensify it. So this intensification of this irregular migration, you know, is what we call the Operation Zero Departure. Henceforth, we don't want to see any boat leaving the shores of the country, you know, towards the Mediterranean, because we have already lost, you know, a significant number of our youth. Okay. Uh, but, but we know that the operation involved, you know, um, collaboration with intelligence officers, you know, and the Gambian Navy. Um, how do these partners enhance, you know, the effectiveness of Operation Zero Departure and what role do each of these entities play in preventing illegal migration and also ensuring maritime security? Yes, um, this relationship with other sister forces and, you know, all partners on migration has been here for long. I can recall since 2007, yeah. the Gambia Immigration Department, you know, is working on irregular migration. Um, but the Navy cannot be left behind because this has to do with the sea. Okay. So the Gambia Navy have been very supportive because, you know, they have been very supportive during our interceptions at sea. Um, whenever ever we are working, usually at Tangye, we have the Navy base or in Banjul, they are always, you know, with us. We also have, you know, other support uh, organizations like the Gambia Red Cross Society, who are very crucial with us. And then we also have the IOM, that's the International Organization for Migration, okay. who are also supporting us in this, you know, uh, irregular migration, you know, menace. So we, all, we also have the Gambia Police Force, because they are very important when it comes, after the interceptions, mostly the smugglers, yeah. Yeah. Uh, the people smugglers, you know, the pr prosecution level is also, you know, with the aid of the Gambia Police Force, through our officers that are working with them. So basically, this is a joint operation. It's not only the Gambia Immigration Department that can do this thing. Okay. But we, you know, we are always working with sister forces before this you know, even Operation Zero Departure comes in. Okay. Uh, uh, but uh, you've also mentioned in an interview um, that um, immigration uh, intercepted 27 um, Europe-bound boats um, this year alone. Uh, could you set light on the methods and strategies uh, that the Immigration Department um, in, um, employ for this uh, interception? And additionally, uh, can you elaborate on the tragic situation resulting in loss of life for boats that managed to escape interceptions? Yes, um, basically we have a, a, what we call the Irregular Migration Unit mm -hmm. under the Gambia Immigration Department. We also have our officers across the belt of the Atlantic Ocean, like um, in Tanyi, we have a station there called the Irregular Migration you know, Substation Unit. Okay. We also have another unit uh, in Kato mm -hmm. and Gunjur. All these you know, stations that you see there, you have what we call Irregular Migration Unit officers okay. who are there to feed, office, feed us with information anytime that they suspected a particular departure. Mm -hmm. We also have our intelligence all over, you know, the web coast there that are working with us and they are working with other partners, you know, that are not to be revealed, who will normally give us information. You know, why you don't want to reveal those partners? As most of them, you know, in service, in security, we have what we call informants. Okay. So your informants, they should never be known. But they are guiding us and they are helping us, you know, in order to fight, you know, these menace. So normally, we are working with our informants. So what we do is whenever we hear a particular rumor about a particular boat about to be departed, 
or you know people trying to gather themselves in a particular place is where our officers you know will be aware and then they will inform you know the line of authority the particular chain of command will be followed and then interceptions will take place normally if the interceptions happens to be violent we will also call you know the the rest uh, the intervention unit the police mm -hmm. intervention unit to help us they are also very helpful normally when you find out that you know the the operations will be violent okay but all right uh, so but um, in the light of this um, tragedy associated with some attempted migration um, what preventive measures does the gambia immigration department plan to implement you know uh, try to discourage um, individuals from embarking uh, on these um, journeys uh, how does zero departure uh, contribute to creating a deterrent effect against um, illegal migration yes the operation zero departure is just the intensification level but uh, despite before it Still, you know, we are fighting irregular migration okay. through various means. We even have what we call the Migration Management Center at Tandy. Mm -hmm. That center is there after interceptions, is where we will take the migrants, interview them, and be able to ascertain, you know, whether they, they, they are really about to em embark on the journey. Normally, we will come to get, you know, materials like rice, you know, and other uh, food condiments that, you know, are part of the boat, which are inside the boat. Normally, these boats, they are not even, you know, at the sea landing areas they are inside, inside okay. yes, they will use these smaller boats to travel these people so, and they are not traveling them at once they will travel them you know in, in bits and pieces so these kind of operations is where we will be able to know is where they are gathered mostly the places that are they are gathered or when they are trying to depart them to the particular boat the bigger boat that they were about to take them is where we will get this information okay. and when we have the information is where we will intercept them after the interceptions we will bring them to Tanji and conduct what we call interviews, you know, for the migrants, because it's not like we are not doing investigations for migrants. Mm -hmm. We just conduct interviews. That is the accepted, you know, international, you know, mechanism. So we, after the interviews, we will know how much they it was involved, the amount involved, and who was behind this. That is the agents. Normally, there will be somebody behind this, mm -hmm. and the captains also. We will we want to get them so that they will be prosecuted under the laws of the Gambia. Well, uh, but how many of them have been prosecuted so far, you know, um, under the laws of the Gambia? So far, uh, every year we will prosecute nothing less than four or five for the uh, past five or six years. So right now, in fact, uh, we have some cases that are already, you know, going on yeah. under these people. Um, last year, I remember, you know, there were about six people under prosecution, you know, where we, there was an interception that even happens in Manjai, you know, where, you know, these people were lodged. Most of them are not even Gambians. They are brought all the way from Guinea Conakry to the country here to be you know, transported or to be you know, transported to the, to the Mediterranean Sea. So after the, the interception, we found out that you know, a lot of people were behind this. So who were, you know, possib uh, who were then later taken for prosecution. Okay. Yes. Okay. Um, and, and then how do you manage to integrate you know, uh, these migrants, especially the Gambians ones, into the society? Yes, um, normally. Um, um, the Migration Management Center, what it does is it do counseling right. after interception or you know, after repatriations as well. But repatriations normally, we do have them uh, with the support of the IOM. We do have them at the FIFA Gold Project, where we have the hostel there, mm -hmm. where these migrants will be you know, given a, a shelter for the main time, where they will be you know, given counseling, and then until you know, they are able to reunite with their families. Normally, normally <clears throat> IOM will give, issue them with what we call token. Yes, token, so that that token will be able to you know, get them settled down for the beginning. But that center, uh, that is the hostel at uh, Yundum. Mm -hmm. Yes, but the Migration Management Center in Tanji it is our own you know, center. Okay. That's our own immigration center where after interceptions, we will have these people and then we will do the interviews. And then from there, we will make sure that they do not last more than 72 hours. Because that is the law. So after that, then we will release them. Normally, we will call their family members to come and pick them or we will, you know, transport them to their various, you know, destinations. Okay. And finally, um, how does the department collaborate, you know, with international partners or neighboring countries, you know, to tackle these serious challenges? Because um, it's not the Gambia. You just mentioned that some of them were, you know, transported all the way um, from Guinea you know, Conakry um, to the Gambia. Yes, what we do is we call their embassies. Most of them that we found out that, you know, <clears throat> their embassies are here, we will call the embassy and then they will help us in giving them documents. They will issue them normally what we call the emergency traveling certificates. And then that will help us to be able to transport them back. So the embassies, you know, are also supportive. Like, you know, 
West African embassies normally. When we found out that their citizens are part of these things, we contact them and then they will also guide us. And then, <coughs> and then we will work with them on how best we can transport these uh, people back to their country without any difficulty. Okay. Um, thank, thank you very much for coming to this program, Inspector Ba. Uh, thank you very much for having us. And then we are also calling for the general public to collaborate with us as this is something that has befall our nation and we do not want to see any future tragedy happening to us. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, that was um, us speaking to Inspector Da. That is the Assistant uh, Public Relations Officer at the Gambia Immigration uh, Department. We'll be taking a short break, and when we come back, of course, we will um, talk to Honorable Madi Sise. Stay tuned.